Variety Varnish. My name is Sheila and today we're finally going to talk about the polishes that I wore for the month of November and December. This is such a long overdue video and I so apologize for that. So the good news is that even though this is two months worth of monthly manis, I'm not going to be talking about a lot of polishes because a lot of the polishes that I wore for the months of November and December I had already done dedicated videos for. So I'm just going to link all that down below. Um, those polishes were Lucky 13 Lacquer's Nuclear Winter Wonderland. Um, all of Lucky Lacquer's um, fall collection, which I did a Skittle Manny on. I'm not going to talk about Danny Vianna's To the Moon and Back. I'm not going to talk about Danny Vianna's um, Christmas Memories collection. I'm not going to talk about Dimension Nails's um, Animal Lives Matter and Autumn because I did a stamping Manny on that. And I'm also not going to talk about um, Quixotic's Make It Stop because I also talked about that in a previous BPU video. So that literally cuts down the Manny almost or the, the polishes almost in half. So hopefully it'll be a short, quick, informative video. I mean, as short as, you know, two months worth of polishes can be. And so since we have a lot to go through, we're just going to go ahead and get started. So the first polish we're going to talk about is this one right here. This is Palette Polishes Paprika. And this is a beautiful sort of cranberry bog red. I actually did this for um, In A Geek's Pantone 2019 Winter Challenge in the shade Pantone Cranberry. Um, this appeared a lot spicier and a lot deeper on a lot of other um, swatches. For me, this was a little bit more of a sort of muted terracotta like color um really the color of a cranberry bug and so it actually does not look as spicy as you know the name implies and i love that about it this is a very very pigmented polish um i think it was opaque in one coat i may have done two i honestly don't remember it feels like it's been a long time ago but i just remember it being so pigmented and this is one of two polishes that I have, and I absolutely love it. And this is um, Palette Polishes Paprika. The next polishes I'm going to talk about are H&M's Peace and Quiet and Essie's Shine of the Times. So Peach and Quiet and Shine of the Times I actually did for... Um, another one of In The Geek's uh, Pantone Challenges. I think this was hashtag a Pantone Creme de Peche. I think I'm saying that right. And then this topper was for Topper and Trides for Polish Talks Untried Polish Challenge. Let's just talk about this topper first and foremost. This is an OG flaky topper. So beautiful. It's a quite a warm, um, topper and I know you know some people have let it go you know onto more like beautiful toppers from like newer indie brands but I actually um, I had de-stashed my original bottle and after I saw Carolina wear it again I kind of decided that I actually wanted it back so I was lucky enough to um, have found this at a reasonable price I think at Poshmark or something like that. And so I do not regret picking up this polish. It's beautiful. And then Peach and Quiet is a sheer sort of peach pink. It actually leans more pink than peach. But for some reason, this was a little less opaque than I thought it was going to be. And it was just for me, okay, um, this whole combination, this whole Manny, was not my absolute favorite. I don't know, it was just too sheer. I think my nails were not in the best shape anyway at that time, but you guys loved it. This made it to my um, best nine of 2019. So maybe you guys should tell me down below what you love about this Manny because I think I'm about to de-stash this um, Peach and Quiet. It's just a little bit too pink and sheer and just weird for 
for my taste. So I don't know. Uh, you guys let me know. Shine of the Times is definitely a keeper. I know I'm going to be using it a lot. Um, probably not as much because I'm always like afraid that it's going to run out of me. On me. It's going to run out on me. And then I'd have to, you know, go hunting for it again. But yeah. So these two, um, I did a mani on this together and you liked it. The next posh I'm going to talk about is Ethereal's Caramel. You guys know how I feel about this polish. I absolutely love it. I had passed on this for PPU and then I saw the polish story swatch it and I absolutely fell in love. Um, and I went hunting for it and I know a couple of other people have picked it up since then because I couldn't stop talking about it and neither can a lot of other people. When I got this polish, I realized how many other polishes I had that were similar to this um, type of shade. Zoya Kira is one. Um, Essie's um, Teacup Half Full, I think it's called, is another one. And then after this was released, um, like Slacker's Rosie came out. There was just a couple of other polishes that kind of invoked the same mood. I think Joy um, from Joyful Beauty also said there was a sinful colors that was similar and that she actually preferred to it. But so obviously this is not the most unique polish, but I absolutely love it. I loved the way it looked on me. I do not regret hunting this down. It's just so beautiful. It has that kind of like yellow green shimmer in there that I think, I don't know if you can see on in the bottle, but you can definitely see it on my swatch. It's just so unique. It makes this polish so unique. And so I absolutely love it. The formula was just a tad bit thicker for my tastes, but nothing that you can't work with. Um, and so, yeah, uh, just a beautiful polish. This is Ethereal's Caramel. The next polish I'm going to talk about is Painted Polishes Maples and Moonlight. So this Maples and Moonlight is the 2.0 version. Whenever um, makers do this, I don't really understand why there's like a 2.0. Did they tinker something with it? I compared to, you know, the original. I'm not so sure, but it's a beautiful polish, don't get me wrong. I just maybe wish that the base color was a little bit more crelly like um, I think, I don't know, I think maybe I'm just going to try it again. This is one of those um, polishes that like the base color is just a bit too dark for me where the flakies, these beautiful flakies kind of get buried underneath the base color. Um, I think, you know, with all respect to painted polish, I think that Night Owl has now perfected that sort of crelly with the dark and the flakies. Um, another company that's really great with this type of situation is Cadillac. Um, I think painted polish, um, it's, it's just not my taste. I'm this is a very popular polish and I'm sure a lot of people loved the way it looked. And um, maybe if I give it another try, I might actually like it because again, this is another one of those that made it to my um, best of nine for 2019 and I it's not my most favorite Manny. So maybe you guys are telling me something that I don't know. So. Yeah, let me know down in the comments below again what you think about this. I just think that it is just a tad bit too dark, the base color. And so yeah, that is Painted Polishes Maples and Moonlight 2.0. The next polish I wore is Zoya Merida. Oh my goodness. I mean, what else can I say? This, I think, is the most beautiful of all of Zoya's Scattered Hollows. And all of Zoya's Scattered Hollows are beautiful, but I think this one takes the cake. It is just so beautiful. Um, I remember when I was like, not even on YouTube, I watched a video, or was it, I read a blog, something like that where the writer or um, the person said that 
like this was the polish that she got the most compliments on. I think she was like a postal worker or something. And every time she wore this polish, like everybody that she met would just be like, wow, what is on your nails? And I definitely got that vibe. It is just so beautiful. And I don't even really love this type of like cooler forest green. I'm usually leaning more towards the olive, the yellow base greens but this is just positively stunning. You guys, if you do not have Zoya Merida, I don't know what you guys are doing. You need to pick this polish up on the next Zoya sale. It's just so absolutely beautiful and absolute staple. Like if you can just have one Zoya hollow, get this, this is the one. And this is Zoya's Merida. The next polish I'm gonna talk about is this little cutie right here, which kind of matches my sweater actually. This is Flormar Full Color in the shade Grass Juice. This is my very first sort of uh, giveaway win ever, ever, ever. Like I never win anything, guys. I have like the most rotten luck of any person I know. Like I don't ever win anything. My husband has amazing luck. So that kind of balances things out like whenever he does these little scratch offs like I don't even touch it because I feel like I'm jinxing it but he always like wins like a little bit $20 here you know what I mean like he's so lucky I am not but that day I was very lucky and I won this and I have won another giveaway ever since but this is always going to be special to me an absolutely beautiful sort of baby poop chartreuse color very unique i think although i did get um a bunch of the expresses spoiler alert that may or may not resemble this type of color the only gripe about this that i have is i think it really stained my nails very badly so if you have this or maybe any floor mar polish because this is the only floor mar polish i have maybe double up on the base coat um just in case i mean i don't even know i wear so many polishes i don't really even know which ones stain my nail but the reason why i'm suspecting it's this one is because the tint of the stain is very yellow green and so this was the only yellow green that i wore at that time um and so i think it may be the one i think this may be the culprit but nonetheless it's such a beautiful polish it is very opaque like super opaque for a yellow this was a two coater very nice self leveling um i hope that they don't stop like you know having this polish in the u.s because i really do plan to pick up more um it's just that right now i think i have way too many creams and i'm kind of like trying to diversify my collection but this is such a good polish such a good brand very pigmented very neat colors and so this is floor mars grass juice the next polish i'm going to talk about is pretty nyc's naughty marietta so at the time that i got this polish this was very unique in my collection and of course by the time i wore it it's no longer very unique so this is a sort of like a pumpkin sort of squashy type of caramel brown yellow situation going on you know if you have been following me um lately you've seen a lot of this um in my instagram feed because i have a lot of these shades like it's very similar to on the bright cider like i have on the bright cider here um i'm just gonna show you how similar they are so i don't know if you can see that but this one's the se right here and this is naughty marietta so this is just a little bit warmer but um so like I said, it's not entirely unique anymore, but it's so pretty. I guess um, this was used in the runway. I think I would probably say 2018 fall, like fashion week. Um, very pretty, very nice formula. The funny thing about it is that I think um, shortly after I posted this on Instagram, it sold out on the pretty nyc website i'm not saying that like my post caused it to sell out not at all like i'm sure it was already on sale by the time 
you know, I had picked this up, so I'm pretty sure there was already a limited amount available anyway. But I just feel bad because I think a lot of people really wanted it and now it's sold out. So I'm really hoping you guys can still find this in a D stash somewhere. I'm not letting this go. This is so pretty. Um, and yeah, this is Pretty NYC Polishes Naughty Marietta. The next polish I'm going to talk about is Essie's Midnight Cami. And this is for um, Inageek's Pantone evening blue there's just so many blues i don't even know like pantone just keeps on giving these crazy blue descriptions but this is evening blue and this is a very beautiful polish it has that kind of like shimmery sort of jewel quality to it that like it's not evident on the uh, bottle per se although i know you can see it like right now because of my bright lights but you know, if if you picked this bottle up, you would be just like, oh, you know, it's another blue. Um, but it's so beautiful. I got a lot of compliments um, when I wore this. And it's just that sort of almost black, but not black at all. Like, you, you know when you look at your nails that it's not black, but it's such a deep blue, and it's just so beautiful. Um, I also wore another Essie recently that is similar to this, but that one's a, just a tad bit brighter. This is just, this just has a very unique, deep quality to it. It's navy, but it's cobalt, but it's so deep, and it's just so beautiful. It's just such a shame that this brush is so skinny. Like, I wish I could replace it with like a bigger brush or like one of their wider brushes, because I think it's gonna be just phenomenal. It didn't stain either, so I absolutely was so impressed with this Essie, and this is Essie's Midnight Cami. And for my Thanksgiving Manny, I wore Masura's Bumper Harvest. This is my one and only Masura. And when I saw swatches of this, man, I fell in love. I just fell in love because I'm a sucker for peach and I never learned my lesson. <laughs> That's why. But basically, when I put this on my nails, I was just like so bummed because it was so absolutely beautiful but it just didn't work on my skin tone. It just looked so weird. Like I thought I could get away with this peach because of this beautiful sort of multicolored, almost rainbow glitter in here, but not so much. The base color was still that opaque base where it almost kind of blended weirdly into my skin and it was just not a good look. Um, weirdly enough, like people thought it was okay. Like, don't get me wrong, I was, wasn't was getting any awards for wearing this polish, but they were like, you know, it's not as bad as I thought it was actually really bad. Like I thought it was atrocious on my nails, but you know, people seem to think it's okay. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna give it another chance, but if I'm too lazy to give it another chance, I think that someone with a fairer, maybe more, um, neutral or more pink skin tone would absolutely love this polish it's just so absolutely beautiful um just not beautiful on me sadly um and this is masura's bumper harvest and so on to december polishes and the first polish i'm going to talk about is h&m's or dodge this is a beautiful mid-tone brown that has a very sort of caramel pumpkin quality to it as you know, I love, again, these types of colors, and I'm gonna compare it to Pretty NYC's Naughty Marietta, just so you can see. And so as you can see, Or Dodge is very much more brown. So as you can see, um, Naughty Marietta is just a tad bit more squashy, and Or Dodge, or Or Dodge is actually a very like mid-tone brown. This was beautiful. I love these types of browns and I know um, people who like browns or people who um, wear browns, they tend to gravitate towards like the richer, darker chocolate ones. For me, the type of brown that's my jam 
are these types of colors mid-tone warm rich browns and there it's just so beautiful now um i'm almost like halfway into this bottle and i'm getting super sad because i think h&m discontinued it and i can't find it anywhere so i'm really hoping one of these days that they restock or dodge and if they do i'm gonna let you guys know because i think everybody needs to have this beautiful mid-tone brown so gorgeous the next polish i'm gonna have is essie's warm and toasty turtleneck oh my goodness I love this polish. This is one of my favorite Essies. It's just so beautiful. Um, this was for Pantone Grape Aid. I completely remember it because I had put this on my fall rack and I totally didn't even plan on wearing it. I thought I was gonna run out of time and then this challenge came up and I was like, this is gonna be perfection for this challenge so beautiful and I'm sure many of you agreed because this ended up again on my best of 2019 best nine and it's just so beautiful um the good news is that the expressi line released a very similar color to this one I think it's on the mauve or something like that um hint hint I might be doing a little comparison to that soon but this is just absolutely beautiful. If you guys can find this in a D-stash, because I know I think this is not part of their core line anymore. If you are a similar skin tone to mine or even darker, I don't, I can't imagine a world where this doesn't go well with any undertone. This is just, or any skin tone. This is just so beautiful. And this is Essie's Warm and Toasty Turtleneck. So the next polish I'm gonna talk about is a polish that I don't have with me right now because I mailed it to my mother um, for her to wear on Christmas Day because I wore that to a holiday party a sort of like fancy holiday party and that is emily damali's sugar coated memories my goodness you guys this polish is everything you've ever dreamed of and more so when i saw that i got that from the ppu rewind so that was the shade that they uh that emily damali brought back for the ppu rewind i got it thinking about christmas but as soon as i got it and I know a lot, a couple of people can attest to this. I was very intimidated. I was like, wowza, this was a super loud polish, so much flakies. Like, I was just like, I didn't even know. I was like, what am I gonna do with this polish? It's so beautiful, but it's just so loud. It's just so intimidating. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna keep it around. I was so tempted to de-stash it just as a brand new never used because I was like am I gonna ever wear this polish so I said you know what let me keep it around for Christmas and oh my god I am so thankful I did because it, it is just absolutely gorgeous applied like a dream even with all those flakies in there just absolutely gorgeous and I wore it the first weekend or this yeah the first weekend of December because that's usually when that party happens and as soon as I was done with it, I said to my mother, I am sending you this polish. You need to wear it for Christmas because it is just absolutely beautiful. And she did, and she was so happy with it too. Just beautiful. And then onto my Christmas Day polish, or Christmas Eve, Christmas Day polish, I wore Stella Chroma's light my fire this was a ppu offering also that i knew i was gonna wear sometime around the holidays guys this was so beautiful and in a very familiar way like this is like coming home um the contrast that i can give to the emily damali um sugar-coated memories versus this one they're both very very gorgeous polishes but that one was definitely a party polish, definitely something that suits more of a festive sort of situation. Like if you were gonna go to a holiday party like I did, just absolutely beautiful. But this is equally beautiful in a sense that this is so cozy and classy and just absolutely comforting. Like if there is even such a word 
just so absolutely beautiful but it doesn't lack in glamour either and it's it's definitely very festive it's very holiday appropriate but a little less loud this talks to me in terms of you know holiday dinner with your family and spending time with your children with a warm fire right there and presents and it was just the perfect christmas day polish and i'm so happy that i wore this for christmas instead of that um emily damali because then i think that would have felt a little bit out of place as to where i was at my life like in terms of Christmas like you know I don't spend Christmas like partying anymore you know what I mean not that I ever did really like who am I kidding but it this is just perfection and then of course after all of those beautiful gleaming jewel toned polishes that I wore up until Christmas I kind of needed a little bit of a palette cleanser but still had a little bit of that like Christmas festive mood and I picked Cadillacers Elves and this is I think a holiday 2018 issue and it's this beautiful blue gray um, I mean it's leaning more like blue in the viewfinder but this is actually a little bit more subdued of a blue gray um, with these beautiful red glitters and of course there's holographic glitters or flakes micro flakes in there also such a beautiful polish the only gripe I have is that like as you can see all the glitters are just concentrated on the bottom they're kind of heavy glitters and it's the type of thing where you have to sort of I guess you know put it upside down for a certain amount of time before you wear it and then like as soon as you sort of you know turn it back over it just all the glitters fall into the bottom all the swatches i saw um for this they were also saturated with glitter and mine wasn't because it was just sparse and i think it's because all of the glitters um went down to the bottom and so give me tips if you guys have any tips i do have a shaker now so i'm really hoping that the next time i wear this um you know i will get more of that glitter payoff because i think that red contrasting to the blue to the very icy well not icy really it's really more like a very gloomy colder sort of moody blue gray i think it's going to be beautiful i just wish i had more glitters when i wore this many and so yeah we will see in theory it's it's gonna be beautiful i just wish i can make it work next time and this is cadillacers elves so that's it you guys those were the polishes that i wore for the months of november and december notwithstanding the other polishes that i have dedicated videos for that i also wore during those months all those links are going to be down below in my description box i feel bad because i feel like i should have done this you know i should have done two videos first of all and i feel like i should have done these polishes more justice because i wore some beauties during these months like a lot of them ended up in um your you know best of nine from me for 2019 and some of these polishes have become truly my absolute favorites so i feel bad that like this video is late and this video is combined but at the same time you guys know on instagram i do post in real time so as i wear them i post them um so you guys probably if you follow me there have already really sort of have had an idea of you know how i felt about these polishes so in that sense i feel a little bit better but yeah especially towards like december i wore some gorgeous gorgeous polishes even in the fall too like 
all the browns and the caramels that I wore I thought were so beautiful. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell button for notifications and comment down below what you thought of these polishes. Are you um, interested in any of these color schemes or any particular polish? Um, yeah, I would love to hear from you guys and as always, thank you so much for being here with me to chat about anything and everything nail polish and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.